At Meta, we are continually working to improve developer workflows and make it easier for developers of all skill levels to create incredible mixed reality experiences. In this video tutorial, we'll walk you through using the Meta XR Simulator, a lightweight XR runtime that enables you to simulate VR and mixed reality features in pre-built or custom synthetic environments, all at the API level and all without needing to wear a physical headset. With Meta XR Simulator, you have an efficient tool to iterate and test your single player or multiplayer experiences from the comfort of your desktop with a mouse and keyboard, game controller, and Meta Quest controllers, along with effective ways to scale automation by simplifying your testing setup and debugging so you can spend more time iterating and building out your vision. Let's cover some key features showing how this tool can help you accelerate development on Unity and Unreal. If you are using Apple Silicon Mac, Meta XR Simulator can be installed through Homebrew. You can find detailed instructions on our documentation or in the description of this video below. If you are using a Windows PC, Meta XR Simulator can be downloaded directly from the Developer Center or the Unity Asset Store. In Unity, once you've imported XR Simulator, open up your project and activate the tool by selecting Meta or Oculus from the menu bar. In Unreal, go to Project Settings, then Plugins, and select the Meta XR Simulator. You'll also want to set the JSON file to the right path in your Meta XR Simulator folder, which you can find instructions for in the tool's documentation. Next, you'll want to make sure that you use the Oculus OVR plugin plus OpenXR backend as the XR API and ensure DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 is the default RHI. Once you click play, you'll see the XR Simulator's debug window open. From the debug window, you can choose the MetaQuest device you want to simulate, switch the view between eyes, get details about composition layers, check headset and controller status, and record sessions. Meta XR Simulator enables you to save time by unlocking the ability to build and test rapidly using just your computer. You can easily use your mouse and keyboard to test movement and interactions between physical and virtual objects. While you should always test and optimize your final product on an actual device, the tool lets you prototype and rapidly build up until that point in the development cycle. Developing VR and MR experiences presents unique challenges, such as building for six degrees of freedom controllers. For experiences that heavily rely on controllers, the new data forwarding feature allows you to use physical controllers with the simulator in just a few easy steps. To get set up, connect your Quest device to your computer with a USB cable and install the APK, making sure the device stays on by turning off the proximity sensor in MetaQuest Developer Hub. Then launch the data forwarding server app in your headset, which can be done from MQDH or the in-headset app panel. Next, click the Connect button in the XR Simulator. Now you're free to leverage a variety of complex controller inputs. Meta XR Simulator's Synthetic Environment Server enables you to simulate mixed reality apps in three primary synthetic environments, along with eight feature room environments. Your app will be able to leverage the scene information embedded in the environments in addition to pass-through content. The three synthetic environment options are a great starting point for most use cases, but you can also create your own synthetic environment server to test your projects. Simply import the UPM package into the project you want to use for pass-through simulation, launch the scene annotation tool, and provide scene information. You can use the Scene Data Recorder tool to record your own scene data from the room capture setup on your headset and replace the default room. Prior to the Meta XR Simulator, testing a multiplayer environment required more than one user, but that's no longer the case. Now you can test your app simultaneously from multiple positions in three simple steps. First, start a synthetic environment server and keep it running in the background. Next, launch multiple simulator instances, either by cloning your project so each copy can be opened in a separate editor window, or by building your app as a standalone binary on Windows and setting the system's ActiveXR runtime to MetaXR Simulator. Lastly, coordinate the input for all users. 
You can accomplish this by providing input to each simulator manually, or use the record and replay functionality for simultaneous playback. Now you're all set to play against yourself in a realistic multiplayer environment. Whether you're testing a single-player or multiplayer app, repeated testing can help ensure optimal results. The Session Capture feature lets you replay a sequence of inputs so you can test your project using the same algorithm and ensure consistent results. Automated replays will show and close out your clips after they're recorded, so you can see them in succession and quickly identify bugs and performance issues. We hope you found this walkthrough valuable. To get started with faster iteration, low friction workflows, and efficient testing and automation, download MetaXR Simulator today for Unity, Unreal, or Native. And be sure to visit our Documentation and Developer Center to find additional instructions that can help you accelerate development. We can't wait to see what you build.